everyone this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my next nail of the day video and this is the design that I created just a simple camouflage mini with like five shades of the ugly green color or military green color um, so again this is what it looks like use multiple shades of green um, for each nail and then multiple shades of green for the stamping and also included sorry brown so and I did the same on each nail just to make it easier and to for me to remember which color went on um, God, my lips are dry which color went on which nail so I did them exactly the same on each hand um, so let me go ahead and get started with telling you what I use just so this isn't too long. So I'm still using my Dory Rejuva Coat Base Coat. Um, this nail, it's still splitting. Um, it's not really mending probably because it's split so bad and has been split for so long. So what I did do for this one, I actually used, um, I did apply the Dory Base Coat on all my nails first and then just over this index finger that has the really bad split in it, what I did was just apply the Sally Henson Salon Gel Polish Base Coat and the salon gel polish um, top coat on this finger only this will help strengthen and keep it from separating you know throughout the week in case I like you know hit it or do something this gives it some more strength and support so we'll see I don't know how long it will last because you're supposed to apply it to clean you know dry nails instead of applying it over top of a another base coat so we'll see how long it lasts I don't know. So, using my Dory Base Coat on all my nails, Sally Hansen Gel Nail, the base color and top base coat and top coat on my index finger. So, for the five shades of ugly green that I used. Oh, my eyes. Stuff is so smeared. It's like 10 after 10 o'clock at night. And it took me forever to decide. It's 10.30 and it took me forever to decide what colors I wanted to use. So, which next week it shouldn't be too bad because I'm kicking off my Halloween um, designs next week. So, that should be fairly easy to decide what colors. So, the first color that I'm using, which is on my, both of my thumbs, seriously, um, is this Olivey Green by Clean Color. And this is called Fashionista. Again, this color is on my thumbs on both of my index fingers I am using this gorgeous green kind of olivey um, toned as well but not as deep as the other as my thumb this is called budding romance and this is from I believe like their spring collection I, now that I use this I wish I had gotten more from that collection because the application on this one amazing <clears throat> then on my middle fingers I am using this Nana Coco polish a much much deeper kind of olivey sagey green um, and this is called Texas Story and I did apply two coats of all all the base colors although this one definitely did not need two coats but since I was doing two coats of the other ones I figured I might as well just do two coats of all of them and then on my ring fingers I applied this um, other cream. This is by OPI, and this is called Uh Oh Roll Down the Window. I'm not sure what collection this is from. And this is a much more kind of sagey green color than the other greens. And then the final green that I'm wearing on my um, pinky nail is this one by the Maybelline Color Show, the Vintage Leather Collection, which is limited edition, but I do believe you can still get it. Um, this is called Sage Staple. This is very gorgeous. I really like it. I like the matte feel to it. This one is a matte polish, but I did put top coat over it just so it's all uniform and all look the same, although it probably would have looked really good at with the camel design matte hmm I might have to add a matte top coat to it later on this week just to or the weekend to see how it looks so 
those are my five base colors um, in person they do look more different than they are showing up on camera and in the pictures you'll be able to see the base colors better I am using continue to use my um, Dory Miracote top coat after I applied all my base colors before I do my stamping in case I mess up on the stamping I can remove it without removing the base color and I did use three different stamping polishes two greens and a brown they're all Conad this is the brown Conad special polish this is the I think this one's might be pop green I think and then this one I think is like emerald green or emerald pearl or something so I use these sporadically no none of the nails are exactly the same I just kind of randomly place the drops I tried to put more brown than anything on them and um, so it's hard to kind of see it the lighting I'm not sure it's always something I thought I had this fix but um, so I just added in just randomly apply the dots on dots of um, polish and I'm using my bundle monsters this is from the second series this is plate number 222 and this is the design that I use and if you feel like like it's not enough design what you can do is stamp it twice stamp it one direction and then the second time you stamp it kind of flip it or you can actually flip it horizontally or whatever direction that you want to kind of fill in some spaces if you feel like it needs a little bit more of the stamping design so again bundle monster play 222 and that is everything that I use for this design my polish review video will be already uploaded so if you want to know my full thoughts on um, these polishes um, and what I thought about them best you can't guess what's my um, favorite out of all five so that's everything I use. So thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times. I will have the stamping portion next to show you how I did the color and just the stamping in general. So thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times. And also there will be pictures at the very, very end. Have a great day. Bye. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with my stamping. And as usual, you'll need your stamper. Your scraper, which I'm just using a you know store card, it's much more flexible and it allows that to me. It f seems like it gets just gets into the image better. I have a little bit more control with that. And then also you'll need cotton balls or swabs or you know cotton pad saturated in pure acetone. And this tool that I'm using is called a cotton claw. I got it from Sally Beauty Supply. It's $3.99 regular price. If you have their um, beauty club card, then it is only $3.29. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my stamping. I'm going to do a camouflage design, which is this one here. And I'm going to use a combination of just brown and greens randomly. So each nail is probably going to be slightly different. One, because of the colors, since I have five different color greens and I want the brown and the green to show up over top of them, so I'm going to be using um, some different colored green polishes for each of the nails. So I'm going to apply the brown first because that's the main color that I want to be visible. I might do one nail in just brown, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm just playing around, so I'm just going to dab on some... Um, brown here and there and I want that to be the main color and this one is a darker green so I'm going to use I think I'm going to use this glittery deep green because I really want the green to also show up so I'm going to be just dabbing that into the spaces empty spaces here and if you get any of the other color on your brush you can just wipe it off that one they kind of ran together so I'm just going to scrape pick up the image and then line it up and this one is not going to be lined up that great just because this is a much smaller image plate so that is what that looks like so I'm not I was going to stamp it twice but because it is camouflage and it's supposed to be spotty I'm just going to do it like that and and call it a day so I'm going to do one more nail and then 
finish the rest off camera. And with some of the plates, you have to be careful because of the edges might be a little bit kind of sharper, so the cotton hairs might um, grab on. So mm -hmm. you have to make sure you get that out of it. And I could go over this again, like rotate the image if I wanted it to show up more, but it's already like 9.58 and I was trying to get done before a scandal came on, but no luck. It took me forever to pick what colors I was going to use. Um, I was going to do a different... Um, different colors because I was like oh I just did green so I didn't want to do green again I try to pick colors that I have not used um, recently but I just said what the hell I'm just gonna do this because I've been wanting to do this one for a while the different colors of the different shades of the like ugly green color so there it is let me line this up as best as I can and press on. So there we go. So I'm going to finish the rest of the nails and then come back and show you the final look. I will, I'll have still pictures rather. Stay polished at all times.